We welcome back Dr. Kevin Kavanaugh of HealthWatch USA. Good morning, Doc. Well, top of the morning. <laughs> and happy St. Pat's to you as well. Yesterday, I guess it was, I saw a headline that I thought was going to, you know, kind of gave me the impression somebody wanted to rub, rub our noses in it, showing that new cases of COVID-19 were down in Texas in the past two weeks since the restrictions there were lifted. This morning, on the other hand, I see a headline that says we're seeing significant surges in 15 other states right now. That's correct, and it's felt to be due to variants. And, Scott, this is pretty disturbing right now. The thing that caught my attention was the reports out of the one Kentucky nursing home where both residents who were vaccinated were infected, and one of those residents was even hospitalized. And this is a nursing home where 85% of the residents were immunized, but only 48% of the staff. And, and I do think staff needs to get immunized. So this virus, at least in this nursing home, appears to have evaded at least somewhat the vaccine. And there's where the kernel of good news is, because I said somewhat, because of those that were vaccinated and acquired the virus, 30% were symptomatic. And that compared to 83% who were not vaccinated. So that is a huge difference. It's not 100%. And granted, one person was hospitalized. That was one out of 71 people who were vaccinated. But it shows a lot of good protection. If you look at unvaccinated residents, four out of 13 were hospitalized. And so this report to me is quite disturbing. We obviously have a variant. Apparently, this is a novel one. And we really need to follow this closely. A very outside chance would be that, well, maybe everybody in that nursing home got immunized with the same batch of vaccine and maybe it wasn't reconstituted properly and wasn't quite as strong. You know, I'm kind of holding out for that, but I think that's a remote possibility. So it does underscore that we really do have to follow public health advice and we need to get vaccinated. We had one of our senators a U.S. senator, not, not a Kentucky senator, mind you, uh, came out and, and stated that, well, if you had COVID-19, you do not necessarily need to get a vaccine. And that's not the case. Your immunity that you get from the infection is not as good as from the vaccine. And these new variants, and I would suspect the one in that nursing home falls into that category, it can reinfect other people who have had COVID-19. So that's a problem. They can cause reinfections. And certainly that's what we're seeing in Brazil. And I suspect that's what we're seeing in Italy. Italy has a huge surge right now that is going on that is on its way to rival that of the surge they saw over Christmas. And they're going back into partial lockdowns. So all of this really means that we need to be vigilant. And although Texas may be doing a little bit better right now, I think we really have a lot of bad signs out there that we really do need to pay attention and to not spread this virus. And of course, you talk about spring break, that's going to also be very problematic. There's a whole bunch yep. of people down at Padre Island this week that are going to be seeing each other and hanging out with each other and potentially taking it back home again. Well, that's correct. And the younger people aren't likely to be vaccinated. They can still acquire the virus and spread it. And as we've discussed before, they can still get long hauler syndrome, which appears to be a fairly common sequela of people that are mildly or even asymptomatic sick. It's been reported in up to 25% of cases. So we do need to be vigilant on this, even if you're young, you don't want to get medically disabled. This is still a dangerous virus. And from looking at the results or the reports out of the nursing home in eastern Kentucky, this variant up there may even be more dangerous. I mean, a lot of people are getting sick up there. 83% of people who aren't vaccinated are showing symptoms, even in the elderly. That tends to be a high percentage. So we're going to have to watch that closely. As I said, there's an outside chance maybe they all got vaccinated by the same vaccine batch, which wasn't reconstituted properly, 
That, I think, is an outside hope, but at least that's what I'm hoping right now. You don't often hope for a medical screw-up, but maybe that is one out. But right now, that, it, that doesn't look promising. The fact that this is a new variant that we haven't seen before, is that a cause for concern or does it just reinforce that variants uh, of various strengths will pop up here and there and show up for a short time and disappear and they don't necessarily grow to be big concerns like the UK or the South African? Well, variants can pop up. If you do public health strategies, you can contain them and maybe snuff them out. That hasn't happened with a lot of the variants that have been identified. But to be honest with you, usually before you can identify them, they've already spread fairly well. So that's a concern. And they do appear to be more infectious and more lethal. And that's something that I was hoping wouldn't happen. You were, would hope that they would evolve into something that was less so. So right now, I think we need to be very vigilant with these variants and to look at public health advice based upon our initial variant really can't be done. We're going to have to be more vigilant and take more measures to control something that's more infectious. So that's one of the things that concerns me. So at any rate, let's be vigilant. Let's follow public health advice. It's extremely important. Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, Health Watch USA, thanks as always, and we'll talk to you again Friday morning. Thank you now.